pretty sure Ade Adele, Adele yeah, Adele already told Heather that he has to give you a vote. So that's five. And then there's Andrew, Kenny, John, Arlie, Arlie and the new girl does vote with them, then tiebreaker, and I'll vote to keep you. But can I trust you, though? And can I also trust well, that this well, doesn't go anywhere? Well, let me put it to you this way. At this point in time, I'm preparing myself to go home. So I'm laying well. I'm not talking game. Yeah, and I want you to just... So that's pretty much what I'm doing. If 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 your word is good, mm -hmm. which I believe it is, Yeah. this will solidify it. Okay. Um, I was going to wait until Wednesday to tell you but I didn't want you to do anything that would mess it up with the girls because they're very emotional. And the least little thing you do, if you fart, it's a problem for them. And if you do this, it's a problem for them. And I just wanted you to just continue laying low to just tell you that. Um, I'm the kind of person where I, I, where is, if you're not safe, I already told her that she's a planet at your target. There's no reason for me to come over here and tell you, that, that'd be sick. That would me being just really mean to get your hopes up and then to do that to you, and I am not. So are you not getting her hopes up and telling her she's a pawn? I'm telling her she's a pawn because I don't want her to freak out and start um, going off and doing things and saying things before she leaves or anything like that. Um, it, it just wouldn't be good. Um, the minute you went up on the block with Heather, I knew I didn't want you to go home, but um, I had to make it seem that way because I didn't want the guys to think that uh, I wanted you to stay. Because when I, I'm like, listen, I'm like, I want Heather gone. I want Paul to stay, and it was a fight. They wanted you out of here because they know that if you stay here, Kenny and Andrew straight up said, "This isn't good for my game." Well, it's not your HOH. When you're at HOH, then do what's good for your game, Kenny and Andrew. Mm. But I don't understand how Heather becomes valuable with a busted knee. here because if you stay here and Adele stays here then it's only more numbers against them and they don't want that they don't want you to stay here that's why they're not getting you yeah, and, and the only thing I have going for myself is that the girls have not treated me like I'm freaking some disease the guys have they have but also the girls still don't trust you mm -hmm. and the girls still don't like you not that I'm saying I don't like you and I I you know I don't trust you <laughs> and there's good reasons why but I don't not like you and I but I think um, you know I'm HOH and they're trying to do what I want and after like, explaining to them like listen why do their dirty work like what what's the good in doing their dirty work mm -hmm. they came around mm -hmm. so um, they sworn everything they promised that you're staying um, so you're staying and Heather is going but the boys are not voting her out they're voting for you because well they don't want you to stay I just want I'm putting my ass in the line to keep you here I just want you to show me at least a little bit of loyalty like yeah. you know like well this will solidify it for you if if i stay it's totally based on how much pull you had with the girls and then after this you will have adele and i to the bitter end because yeah i, I did not want if i wanted um adele on that block with you i wouldn't have fought hard for that veto because that's a, that was hard but i fought so hard yeah. for that veto because i want a nomination to stay the same i w i did not because want they would have taken her off you know that if andrew got it she would have i didn't yeah and i and didn't want i didn't want adele up there i didn't if i and that's why when i made nominations i didn't put you up with adele because you were not my target mm -hmm. you know 
You were not my target. But when I did that, nobody in the house knew. The girls didn't know and the guys didn't know when I did that. Um, afterwards, I explained, like, listen, I, I think Heather's the one who should go. And um, So even though I see people together, like I see certain people with certain people, they only just playing along. As like Heather? If, like like, like people, when I see certain people together, I'm not going to... And there's a mixture of people together. It's not so much them working with them. It's really just playing game but knowing what the ultimate plan is. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know because I don't know what you're saying. But I, if what you're saying is that you see people with Heather. Is it, are you talking about Heather? No. I'm saying, I'll give an example because this is not. Let's say I see Sarah with Andrew and John and they go and talk and whisper. Then that's just Sarah kind of figuring out what they're up to. But really, she knows the ultimate plan. I, I think Sarah will vote with me this week. She will, but I don't know Next how close week, it. Next week, you don't know. Yeah, because I'm, well, I'm HOH right now, and the best I could do right now is to utilize this to the best of my ability yeah. to help further, you know, the following week. I don't know how close Sarah is um, with no. those guys. You know, I don't. That's the thing about this game. When you're HOH, everybody does pretty much what you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What you want them to do? Like, I was very clear when I had my HOH that the target was going to be me. And everybody went with it. Because mm -hmm. that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Remember I said to you, mm -hmm. the target? And everybody went with it because that's what I wanted. Yeah. So I'm hoping that this time it doesn't play out, you know, 11 0, but it like plays you're out not, to that. Um, the girls are pretty, like, the girls are not in an alliance they're not I don't know I think some girls are probably are but I think what I've done this week is not get into an alliance with them but maybe just try to bond better with them mm -hmm. like for upcoming weeks type thing like try like there there is a girl that I'm, like there are a couple girls that I'm like I feel more close to type thing and then they're also close with other girls or whatever so mm -hmm. through those relationships and you could just and you could just keep votes that way you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but they have sworn everything that they don't want you to go home, that mm -hmm. you're staying. But I don't want you to be confused. It's not because they like you, but then they don't want you to go home. Mm -hmm. it's, well, I'll probably be up if any of them if you, win the if next you one. you don't fight, if yeah. you and Adele do not win next week, one of you guys are going home and it's probably going to be you. Yeah. I think you guys have to really fight yeah. hard because when the guys came in the bedroom, they had this thing where they were like, Andrew was like, well, if anybody wins, Paul has to go next week and everybody has to swear on that. Mm, okay. Right? Yeah, that, I mean, I saw that. So, right? if you don't fight, so, yeah. if you don't fight next week, you, and it's, you're in a good position because you and Adele could play for HOH next week. Mm. You guys are able to play for HOH. So, if you fight, then you'll be okay. Okay, I'm um, I have to talk to him though. So, I, so he'll know when you guys could talk, but okay. um, I just want to let him know that, like, you know, which he already will. Mm -hmm. And he probably will be happy. Okay, so you don't. Yeah. And so that, yeah, that yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, okay. Yeah. You know, this game is so unpredictable, you know what I mean? I mean, Adik thought she had half the votes to stay, and then she ended up going to the votes. So it's hard to know. It's, it's, I know, I understand it's hard to so know. So you never know. But, but, but the, the HOH know. knew what was going on. Yeah. Right? For the HOH, well, yeah. this is the way I do it. The way I see it right now, the way I see it right now is that your word is golden to me yeah. when I don't walk out the door. On Thursday. So on Thursday you know. You know okay. what I'm saying? If not, then I'm not anyway. Okay. Then you play with me game. And I respect you for that. There's okay. no personal feeling. So, so on Thursday saying. you know. I just want... But for now? I just, no, not even for now. But information that I'm saying to you right now is to try to build trust. So my hair the back is going to be damaging to my game. Many people trust right now. I mean, Adele's proven it all the yeah, so he's yeah. got nothing more yeah, to Adele is. So, 
like I said, sometimes it's about your actions more than just what you're yeah. saying. And in this case, I like you yeah. as a player. But the first move you made was to put Hella next to me. That said volumes. Um, second one, Hella staying with me. Don't kind of know where that's going to go. Oh, you want to go to the hot tub Hold on, buddy. I got to the washroom first. You still think we should get back yet? <laughs> Don't kill us. Such a douchebag. I'm going to self-evict you. Um, self-evict you. <laughs> so, um, so Thursday will be the telltale. Yeah, so on Thursday, my only thing that I ask for you is whatever information we share, it stays strictly between us. Um, and it doesn't go anywhere else. If on Thursday you walk yeah. out the door and you want to spray it out, then you could go ahead. You could, you could throw ass under the bus. But I just want to gain a little bit of trust in you. I just, yeah. like, I just want to no, feel you know like... What? I, I mean, listen, last three days I haven't talked to anybody who I came back to anyway. And uh, so I figure at this point in time, um, I'll just lay low and accept my fate for what it is. Yeah. Everyone will talk. Just yeah, just okay, good. Uh, well, um, I want to talk to you to ask you if if Paul has your vote. That's a, a one billion percent. Okay. I even told Heather I can't give my vote. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because the plan is just to make sure that Paul stays. And if you're on board with it, then that's good. Oh. Yeah, whatever, guy. <laughs> we'll wait and see what happens. Well, yeah, you'll wait yeah. and see what yeah, happens. This game but, is very but, unexpected. But I'm just telling you well, what I'm saying. The reason why Adam is happy is because he knows your word is gold. So when I, I want to be around. Yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah, same as a minute. Mm -hmm. But like when I was talking to you, and I was saying, read between the lines. You had to have known that I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, in this game, it's so hard. To yeah, and I did. I did tell you that you're a target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not making me sweat, but you know, the one thing I will tell you though is that uh, this game takes a hell of a lot out of you emotionally. I'm a pretty strong guy, mm -hmm. but it's like. I need that glimmer of hope, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's just like, keep on being on the block. People are cutting for me all the time, and it's like the same people, you know? So it'd be nice for once to have somebody else that I can trust, you know what I mean? Because all I have is doubt. That's not enough. It's not, can I just tell you, like, it's not enough to only have Adele, but um, it's at least you have somebody who has your back 100 i don't think anybody in this game has my back 100 percent the way adele has your back and i'm telling you that like that's so valuable in a game like this you I and i don't think anybody has my back the way he has yours and that's the truth that is the yeah. truth well i know i know there are certain people here from the onset that i can tell has probably promised one other person that they're going to go all the way to the end I believe you. Um, and because I don't think you'd use that lightly. No, and I don't like throwing my kids. Like I don't like when I don't like doing that. Um, but but in this case, I needed that. Thank you. You're not going home, and they have sworn everything to <sighs> that you're not going home. Um, if like, if you did go home, I'd be completely blindsided, and I would feel completely alone because they sworn everything, and I believe them. I believe them. Yeah, because I do, I, I do have like you know, I have a friendship with with one of the girls at least. That if it was off, they'd be like, okay, I don't know about this person. Or I don't know about so that early, person. it's really with the guys, eh? It's early with the guys. I don't know, and that's the truth. I don't know if Arlie's with the guys. I don't know, but I don't. Um, so you don't trust Arlie enough to ask him where his vote's gonna go? Oh, Arlie says he's voting with the guys because he told me that because. Um, when Heather was on the block, I didn't tell people what my plan was. And I was like, Heather, you're a pawn. Don't worry, don't worry. So he told me, like, I swore on my family's life. I swore on everything that she was safe. And I feel like if I went back on my word, it would look bad to even you, Aika, that I gave my word to someone and then t 
to just do that because plans changed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. I don't care if the, vi if the guys don't vote to keep you because I still have the numbers. And Amanda for sure with the girl with the guys. Hmm? Amanda's for sure with the guys. Who? Um, Allison, sorry. Allison, um, Sabrina did talk to her and she told Sabrina that she's 100% would vote to keep you, but if she doesn't, then it's a split vote and I'm a tiebreaker. So in a sense, because Sabrina asked her that, she could have gone back to Andrew. Well, when we're in the room, Andrew said he'll tell her to vote to keep you, but he just can't do it because he hates you. So he says, whatever I tell her to do, she'll do. Andrew said that? Yeah. He says he's not wanting to keep you because he hates you. Yeah, of course he hates me. But this is what I want. So he goes, well, this is what you want, then... I'll tell her, but even if she, even if he tells her to vote you out, even if, I'm still a tiebreaker. And um, the girls know that it's in their best interest to keep you too. That's why I'm thinking people have to be smart and think about the game. Don't think about your personal feelings. Think about the game. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But you need to play smart too, and you need to like limit what you say to people, and you need. To, if you even think you can't trust someone, don't release any information. If there's a, I don't, I don't trust anybody except you and Adele. Right I know. So well, I don't you trust anything. me on Thursday when you see what happens, and that's yeah. okay. I, like I don't, but I'm not gonna lie. M my trust in you right now, I'm scared because I, I just don't want you saying anything. Not even like, like not even like on purpose, but like by like mistakes. It sucks so much that my trust was based. On my first HOH, I didn't know anybody here. It's not that and though. It's, just like it's, it's it's because you say things that you shouldn't say, like the thing with Adele and Sabrina. You shouldn't have said that. The thing yeah. with Sabrina sitting in a hammock and you saying, "Well, Sabrina, you know, I overheard you guys speaking about Ica." Like, you can't do stuff like that. Like stuff like that is what yeah. makes people worry. Like even if she was doing that, maybe pull her aside and say that to her, mm -hmm. or say Ica, like I don't know what's going on there, but. When you do stuff like that, it feels like you're playing devil's advocate and you're trying to turn people against each other. Uh, and it's not good. I kind of feel like because you're in this position, like you're struggling to find, you know, people who you could trust, so you release information so people will trust you, and mm. that's not good. You can't do that. Mm. You can't do that. You have to just believe in yourself and believe in the people who believe in you and who mm -hmm. trust you. And if right now that one person is Adele, just stay with that one person. And if by any chance anything comes back, you know exactly who you told those things to, and you know exactly where it came from. You know it came from Dell. Yeah. That's the only thing I could say to you. Cool. Okay. You know, so I'm like trusting you to not yeah, I'm say gonna, anything. I know. When is last fiction? Thursday. So you're three days away. Gosh, well, awesome. Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday. So. Two full days and then Thursday is when it happens. Seems like forever, right? But you're okay. The minute I feel like you're not okay, I will never let you leave here not knowing. I promise. The minute I feel like something is about to change, yeah. I'll pull you aside and I'll tell you, I promise. Please. I will, I, I promise. I'll pull you aside and I'll say, Paul, I tried, but this and this happened and it's not working out. Sorry, I will let you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, lay low. Yeah. I'll do exactly what I've been doing. And lay low. But that's good, though. I appreciate you coming and talking to me, though. So I when I said in the POV ceremony that you're my target, did you believe me? Or no. did you not? <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. Alrighty, thank you, sweetie. Alright. <laughs> <laughs>